Well, Troy Ariel, it's falling pretty steadily here on our way out here. The road conditions were deteriorating, but we did see uh, plow crews and road treatment crews out and about making sure they could keep up with all that's fallen so far. Now, we also spoke with the New Hampshire Department of Homeland Security and Emergency Management. They say that their biggest concerns with this storm is going to be the power outages with the snowfall being wet and heavy in some areas. Now, road crews are going to be working into the night and likely the morning to get the roads clear. And officials say they are looking at this first significant snowfall for some parts to really kick off the season and get people prepared for what could be in store later this winter. It's a tune-up storm. It's an opportunity for folks to make sure they've got uh, preparations, whether they're vehicles, whether in their homes. We encourage people to go to readynh.gov. That's where you can kind of make sure you have everything from your home to your car, businesses, materials that you need to make sure in case we have power outages. Good information on that website and then also a few quick reminders that if you have a generator and your power goes out, don't run the generator inside. Also have your emergency kit ready and make sure if your power goes out that you call your utility company. Don't just assume that they know about it. We'll keep you posted as the evening goes on. For now, we're live in Springfield. Marissa Tansino, WMUR News 9. All right, Marissa, thank you. Now, as we move further north up in the state, steadier snow is falling, especially, like I said, up north. All right, Monty Fleming joins us live from Conway. Monty, what was your drive up there like? Well, guys, the drive wasn't too bad here, but right now we are actually just in front of White Mountain Highway in Conway, just in front of the beautifully lit Conway Scenic Railroad. Things are clearly starting to pick up here for a while there. For a few hours, we had this mixture of heavier flakes with rain, and it stayed that way for a few hours. But we are expecting heavier snow to hit this area later on in the evening. As I mentioned, on our way up here today, we did get hit with some heavier snow, but it quickly changed to a wetter consistency, less of those typical snowflakes and pretty much much raindrops at that point. Traffic was very smooth from what we saw, but that's probably because there weren't too many people out on the roads. And I think that's a good thing because those roads are slippery. They are slick. So if you do have somewhere to be tonight and you absolutely have to drive, definitely just be extra careful out there. On our way up, we did reach out to Conway police who say they have they did respond to several accidents. We also spoke with the Carroll County Sheriff's Office who says they've responded to multiple cars that have slid off of the roads. We also actually did see a few of the Department of Transportation snow plows already starting to clean up some of the heavier hit roads where the snow is sticking and we will be here throughout the night tonight to keep you all in the loop about how the road conditions are what the snowfall is like how things are looking how we're feeling and of course to continue our coverage of this storm we're live in Conway Imani Fleming WMUR News 9